Equality is human. Speak. Ever wondered why as a woman you have encountered situations where your voice has been threatened or forced into silence? That's because your voice is your power. True, women are empowered. But what type of empowerment are we talking about? Financial, isn't it? Tremendous work has been done to get women financially empowered. But with your money as a woman, even then, your voice is shut down a lot. Mm -hmm. Remember going to the market and being groped, but can't really say anything? Try to assert yourself, and your family shoots you down because of your gender. As the firstborn, passed over for the next male sibling because you're a woman. Mm. Try to speak up, protest, or stand your ground, and you are shut out with words like troublemaker, mm -hmm. ashawo, prostitute, or statements like you are just a woman, I get your type for house. I bet the answer is yes. And you most likely felt powerless. True empowerment will be a woman literally using her voice to determine and control her life choices. What exactly do I mean by your voice? The sound of you. When you find your voice, you don't find something new. Instead, you find a little more of you. You find a little more freedom to speak, express, and let yourself be heard. When you speak, are you listened to, heard, or seen? Yes, right? So why the need to find and harness your voice? Because as a woman, we are generally dismissed on the basis of our gender. Therefore, we're actually not seen, heard, listened to, or respected. The most important question to consider is, what are the fallacies? And what are those voices that keep you from speaking? If you don't feel free to speak, and many of us don't, those fallacies need to be told and the lies within them challenged. What were you wearing? Why did you speak, uh, scream louder? Are you sure you didn't enjoy it? Ah, that's why you haven't found a husband. No one will marry you. You are too opinionated. Women are not allowed to speak here. You are a woman. What do you know? Keep quiet when men are talking. Can't you control your wife? Women are shamed into silence. It is shrinking themselves. Being you comes with consequences, especially if you don't conform to society standards of who it says you should be. Even in the bedroom, a woman's voice is muted. I'm not allowed to express myself sexually. I can't say what I want done to me or what I would like to do. I can't dress to express my sensuality. I can't speak my truth. The search and enjoyment of bigo. If I have sex with 10 men, I can get pregnant only once, while he can impregnate a whole village. Yet, I am the one with the burden of using contraceptives. How did you get pregnant? We're not alone. We are left alone with the dilemma during menopause. Body being betrayed by nature, literally not considered a woman anymore, or cast aside for a younger woman. I'm shut up on the premise that I cannot give birth, should not have desires anymore, and therefore not entitled to natural desires. These issues seem insurmountable, but to be a whole human being, we must find our voices and speak up courageously, even in the bedroom. It isn't going to be easy, but Rome wasn't built in a day. So the next time you are asked, what were you wearing? Clothes. What do you know? You answer with the knowledge instead of shrinking. Over to you, guys. Oh my goodness, like really, she, like you know, really? literally spoke half of my heart. I look, I like, I, I know I practically jumped out all right on her back as she finished talking, but I just wrote down in my notebook, I mean, like, no color notes on my phone this week that the power to say no, your right to say no. And this, interestingly, I realized that for a lot of women, you know how they say, can a husband rape his wife? Can a woman, even in a relationship, consent? I'm like, it's almost difficult sometimes for you to say no. I want to say no to you. I don't want this at this time. It's because you know, so I, when she started talking about we all things were shrinking, our ability not to be able to be ourselves, to accept ourselves for who we are, 
menopause, many things, and the part about oh being cast aside for a younger woman. You know what we were discussing before the program? We said, why is that the issue of competition? Why do you think? So those things, those narratives that have been sold to us. And I'm like, look, you know what? The many women start saying what? So you think that when I, as a younger woman, or you as a younger woman, think that, so you think that you're going to come here, and then you will now come and just rubbish me like you rub me. We're going to deal with you. Trust me. Men! Men! We'll start thinking twice. Uh, when we are uh, when we're each other's friends and when we're huh. standing up for each other hmm. so when you're when 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 you're saying no and someone is asking you where do you want him to go i'm wondering excuse me what of all the times you didn't want <laughs> how is that even how is that even something to ask where do you want him to go want take to a cold shower <laughs> <laughs> or something. Do you understand what I'm saying? And yes, you're right, comfort. I mean, we've been made to shrink over time. Where, again, we've been shamed into believing that even the natural things that come to us as women are now seen no. as so much weakness. Mm -hmm. And because we're again fighting to be seen, we're fighting to be heard. We're almost having to suppress that innate thing that makes mm -hmm. us women so mm -hmm. if i want to compete in the corporate world then i have to dress like a man i have to wear those um, power suits and just lose my femininity i can't want to go into a bank i mean ceo's meeting and wear a nice floral dress and just look nice no i have to conform and look like a man we just have to change the narrative i think I mean, if we talk about all these barriers and things, there's so many things that each one of us at different times can just identify yeah. with as things that we've gone through. And I think it's such a crying shame that even at this time, with all the things that women bring to the table, <laughs> we're, still, we're still being silenced. You know, I, I was just yeah. talking, while everyone was talking, the theme of this IWD for 2022 is breaking the bias. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I'm saying, how can we actually break the bias? Because everything Comfort had mentioned, there, there are things that a lot of women are familiar with. Yeah. I mean, to, some might be familiar with it more than others, mm -hmm. you know, but in at different places, you've actually experienced some form yeah. of bias mm -hmm. or stereotypes. So I'm thinking in my head, okay, we may not necessarily... I mean, we can change the what is happening in the present, but I'm also thinking for the future, the younger ones coming on ground, mm. how you groom your children. Um, I, I, I'm blessed to have great parents, and for my family, we're all girls. One thing I know my father drilled in our heads was that you are as good as a guy. You are not, you are not worse than a guy. You are not, um, not less, less than. than a guy. You are as great as a guy. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And that sort of pushed every one of us to actually achieve the best we can. Not every female has had that kind of, you know, Affirm yes. affirmations while yes. they were growing up. Yes. So it's important that even as we raise up our kids and as we mentor people, we also ex teach them and let them understand that they're not limited because they are females. They're not even, there's no limitation even because you are married. You can still go ahead to do as much as you want to do. May I just say something though? I'm thinking, where are these men coming from? They're not aliens. Thank Someone you. raised them. You know. So does that? So do we, as women, again, then take responsibility to, for the fact that how are we raising our sons? Because these people, these are learned behaviors, mm -hmm. right? They learned mm -hmm. to believe that women are inferior, mm -hmm. women are less than. Mm -hmm. So do we have a responsibility to take as women to say maybe we're dropping the ball somewhere we i disagree have. actually oh, i don't just think it's a oh, moment thing because i think over oh, the over time so oh you're saying Comfort. something no go on Rosa. yes i'm agreeing with you in rounding mm -hmm. up the conversation that mm -hmm. yes we are dropping the ball in raising our sons but it looks as if we have even gone further and dropping the ball now in raising the um the girls mm -hmm. because as it is now honestly i i really don't know where we're going to see the next generation but as we've said we're here to break the bias, and the bias here is that somehow women are less than um, um, guys. But everyone is a human being. We should start by looking at both genders first as human. Mm -hmm. And if we look at them as human, then what is right for the uh, man, which is the goose, is right for the woman, which is the um, gender. Before we round up, I actually yeah. wanted to say something on what you just mentioned, um, because I feel like um, over the years, we've actually placed the responsibility solely on women. I believe that if a guy, if a guy is able to show examples to his sons, mm -hmm. they are they are going to learn better. 
that okay this is a way to treat a woman she's as she's equal she's your equal she's not less than you so i think it's but something guy, that has to but be that guy ways. again must have been raised by his mom who has shown him that because an I, I i know i, I know we shouldn't say oh raised by the mom because i mean obviously parenting is yeah, a two-way two street, street. Yeah, there's, there's mom and dad yes but i mean we have seen that the raising is usually left to the mom isn't it so for a man who grows up seeing that example in his home of his father affirming his mom and you know preferring his sisters then maybe he would be able to show that to his daughters but if you're growing up in that environment where mom is just subjugated she's not heard she's only seen then that's all you know and that's what you're going to do isn't it equality is human women please speak your truth ruth is after the break